everyone today is sunday the 30th the day before the actual halloween day today i'm gonna take you grocery shopping with me in new york city a lot of people actually do delivery like amazon fresh etc i actually like to go to the farmer's market and meat market to get my stuff i normally bike there with a backpack so it's not the complete norm but that's how i do my grocery shopping in the city so i'll take you with me today it's a beautiful day out so perfect day and during the winter time obviously when it's like cold like freezing cold and snowing i wouldn't be biking there until then i'll be biking to get my stuff so we're about to get in the elevator here's my bike my boo back there say hi yo what's up <laughs> yesterday was the youtubers retreat i vlogged throughout the weekend so if you want to check that out i'll put the link right below a reflection about the youtubers retreat i was really inspired to see a lot of youtubers and their dedication to their channels it didn't happen overnight and they grew it over time it gives me more motivation to work harder on my youtube channel and be better and more consistent about it it's beautiful out perfect weather for biking Mobile, we decided to combine our accounts. I pay for my parents' phone bills, so I want to get them new phones and I want to get myself a new phone. So it's like crack, I don't even see that, but it's really, really bad. I want to move us over. We stopped at T Mobile to see if that's a possibility and to see if Doug and I can also get on the same account and get him a new phone because this phone does not work anymore. While Doug is finding out his account, because I still have about a week left on my contract, so I'm gonna see about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to take you guys to the farmer's market. It's called Styles Farmer's Market. It's located in Hell's Kitchen on 52nd Street. I think this is 8th. On 8th Avenue. Yeah. Between 8th and 9th on 52nd Street in Hell's, in Hell's Kitchen, New York. Great prices. Super cheap. Um, if you're ever in the area and need to go grocery shopping for uh, produce, that's the place to go. Trust me, you won't regret it. So when I do go grocery shopping, I usually take this huge backpack with me, the red one, and I just stuff everything in there um, because I do have to bike. A lot of New Yorkers, what they do is they carry around wheelies or something like that because you just have to walk around and take everything. What I do is I take a backpack because I do bike and I can't have a wheelie around me. So this is this farmer's market back here, styles, and let's go in. That was my produce shopping. As you guys saw, I bought a crap ton of stuff and that cost me $38.95, which is pretty good. I got like avocados, a bunch of asparagus, because it is my peak week. I forgot to tell you guys, this is my peak week. So I got a bunch of asparagus, um, avocados, like four bags of five bags of spinach, four or five bags of spinach, lettuce, a bunch of bell peppers. I don't even know, like I got so much stuff, but it was only $38.95, pretty good. And that's how I do my grocery shopping here in the city. And I, for my meats, I go to this meat market down on 38th and 8th, 38th and 9th. And that's where I get all of my meats and they, it's like a butcher shop. So I get my red meats from there. Um, there's a fish market right next door. So I get my fish from there, fresh fish, fresh fish, fresh fish from there. <laughs> 
and my chicken I get it from the meat market which I think I've shown you guys before like last prep um, but yeah that's how I do it I'm gonna go back and grab Doug and head on home and probably stop at the meat market at some point today got a meal prep a little bit and that's the plan Doug is still on the phone with Verizon. Um, so it's gonna take a little while, so I decided to find a coffee shop nearby and get myself some coffee. The thing I love about New York is I, I'm okay with Starbucks, but I love boutique coffee shops in the city. That's what I love. I love exploring those things. So I'm gonna find, there's a place called Bubble and Sip. But it does, you don't have to put it Let me see. Bubble and Sip. It's, I'm nearby. 9th, 8th, oh, it looks like it's like across the street. So, we'll go across the street. Um, but it's called Bubble and Sip. It's on 51st and 8th. And it's the finest gourmet coffee, espresso, and pastries. Pastries I can't have, milk I can't have right now. But I'm gonna get some, uh, like maybe Americana or coffee. So let's go. So I'm looking at what they have and look at, like, I love matcha. And look at all of that stuff. Oh, I wish I could have them, but I can't. Oh, there it is bubble and sip. <laughs> He's taking pictures. Oh, they're waiting. lying if I said I did not want all of those pastries they looked so good um, but I kept my willpower strong because I only have a week out and after a week I have a bunch of eating plans <laughs> so I just gulped admired imagined and got myself a cold brew. This is actually the first time I think I'm gonna try cold brew. It was as per recommendation by Uni's boyfriend, Brandt. You guys seen him before in some of my vlogs. And he was in my, I think, last vlog when I visited Providence. Was it my last vlog or something like that? Anyways, so yeah, he raves about cold brew like all the time, all the time. So I decided to go ahead and try it. We'll see, we'll give it a try. It's pretty good. Wow, Brand. This might be my new addiction. It's really good. Anyways, people are staring at me because I'm like the epitome of the new generation looking at myself in the camera like because I have the screen in front. The thing about New York is nobody gives an, a crap. Everybody like can walk around with like a costume and nobody really cares. So guys, I was gonna go and uh, shot for my chicken but as you can see I don't know if you can hear that but it's like a huge storm so I'm not gonna go just gonna chill here <laughs> looks pretty wild out there there goes my plan the rain has died down a little bit so I'm gonna head out to the meat market now and get some chicken and eggies Eggies, not for me, for Doug, but because eggs actually have sodium, let's get moving. We're on our way to the meat market. On our way to the meat market. Meat market. Meat market. Meat. Meat. Meat market. This is where I buy all of my chicken and a few other groceries. Let's head on in. Doug wants some sandwich, so we're waiting at this uh, little 
deli within the market. What is that? Chocolate, Chocolate covered, covered sesame. Why is he doing this to me? <laughs> well, he wants a sandwich, so we're standing in line so that he can get what sandwich you're gonna get. Uh, honey turkey breast, Swiss cheese. Honey turkey breast, Swiss lettuce, tomato, lettuce, onion. tomato. And then the classic barbecue sauce. Sounds good. Must be nice. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> While I'm not eating eggs for my peak week, Doug is still gonna eat eggs. So, here I am, picking up some eggs. Here, you can like pick up, get your own fresh cut meat and stuff. Um, but anything for red meat, I usually go to the butcher shop across the street, which they have like a lot of, they have really fresh meat there. So the chicken I get here, fish I get from across the street, and the red meat I get it from the butcher shop. We picked up the chicken and we got caught in the rain. We're screwed. We're screwed. So we're waiting until it dies down a little bit and uh, we'll make a run for it. Good thing is you only live like two blocks Water. away. <laughs> we safely made it home. Kind of wet, but all good. For the rest of the night, I'm gonna meal prep, eat, and get ready for a Monday tomorrow. So thanks for spending the day with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next vlog. If you have not already done so, please be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.